kinematics for we were defining few kinematical quantities in the previous class uh, so the definitions are not over yet we'll try to finish that de those definitions and as well then go for the equations of motion uh, i think we are doing some numericals right about average speed average velocity things like that isn't it yes yes sir, yes, sir. okay that will continue for a while hmm? another numerical numerical examples we are doing hmm look a particle is moving in a circular path with a constant speed v Hmm. Find the magnitude of average velocity between the two ends of a diameter. That question. So, any ideas, Ganesh? Yeah. Moving in a circular path with a constant speed. Uh, what do you mean by constant speed? Say if it was 10 meters per second speed, everywhere 10 meters per second. At every yes, instant. Sir. Uniform. Ah. But the velocity vector keeps changing direction. This length of this vector remains. See, I told you instantaneous velocity is along the tangent. Do you follow? Yes, sir. So this length of the vector remains same, but the direction keeps changing. That's what you mean by constant speed in a circular path. And this kind of a motion is specifically referred to as uniform circular motion, UCM for short. All right. So we were asked to find out the magnitude of average velocity between the two ends of a diameter. So if you think it started here, it went there for the first time, you think. So V average mod is displacement, isn't it? Delta R mod by delta T. I asked you the you. magnitude. So the displacement magnitude will be how much now? 2R. Yes, sir, 2R. Uh, divided by time. Delta T is time. Time I don't know. But I know the speed is V for this distance. So time if I calculate. Simply this distance. How much is that? Pi R. Speed is already given as? V. Then given as V. So if I go for this here. 2 R by Pi R by pi V. R by. 2 V by pi. 2 V by pi. Yes, sir. 2 V by pi. So speed is V everywhere, but average average velocity is magnitude between two ends of the diameter is 2 V by pi. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Right. Finish that off. I'll continue. Manasa, do you follow? 
Yes, sir. Gayatri. Yes, sir. So, can I continue for the next question? One minute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next. A body moves. along a straight line AB. From A for half the distance It travels with V1, speed V1. In the remaining half, in the remaining half, it moves with V2 for half of the time and then with V3 for the remaining half remaining half before reaching B. Hmm? Find the average speed for the entire motion. Find the average speed for the entire motion. Okay. Hope you followed the question. Have you? Yes. Yes, sir. So, do you know how to start, or will you get me the answer on your own, or shall I do it for yours for you? Actually, you, uh, if you keep, if you say you're doing, I can't keep waiting here because you don't know what we're doing there because you're on the remote uh, place. So, if you have understood the question, participate in the uh, doing of the solution. Hmm? A body moves along a straight line AB. I'll do the solution here itself. So you need to picture the situation in mind at least, if not on the paper. On the, in the beginning, if you do it on the paper, slowly you'll start doing it in the mind so that you can do it a little faster than required. Than required in the class, of course. In the exam, you're required to be fast. So A, B. From A, half the distance, it travels with V1. So, somewhere here. This distance is the total distance, if you call S, for example. So, this S by 2 is covered with V1. Should I not find the time for it? Because the average speed, I yes, want the distance by time. 
So time t one equals. Can I say s by x by s by, by v one? Yes, Now there is a problem here. For the next half, next s by two, half the time with v two and remaining half with v three. So since speeds are different, I cannot say in the half time it traveled half the distance. But suppose in the next time is, for example, t or t two, the total time from here to here. For t two by two time, it travel with what? S by four v two with v three, right? Hello. Yes. Hmm. And for the next t two by two, it travel with. Sorry, this is v two. This is v three. Do you all follow? Hello. T by two, t two by two time it travel with v two. T two by two time it travel with v three. So what will be s by two now? Tell me speed into time here. V two into t two by two plus v three into t two by two. Right? Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, so what do we get for t two here? V two plus v three by two into what? T two. Hello. Yes, sir. This is s by two. All right. Yes, sir. Hmm. So t two will be how much? To cancelling s by tell me v two plus v three is it happening all right? Tell me children. Yes sir. Yes. Now sir. now the total time is what this t one plus this t two right? Huh? Yes, Hello. Yes. So that is s by two v one plus s by v two plus v v three. So the average speed will be total distance s we thought divided by total time s by two v one plus s by v two plus v three. So simplified. Okay. So average velocity, average speed, instantaneous velocity, instant speed. Only there are so many questions to be done. I'll be showing it. Only then I'll go for the next uh, uh, acceleration uh, definitions. Check the whole calculation properly, and tell me if you went forward something. Sir, hmm. sir, like I have you wait for third time with T three, na sir. Huh? But the uh, la remaining last one will get time is the third T three, na sir. But we lost T V three. Would you get? Uh, I'm not clear what you're saying. In the remaining half, that means yes, the sir. remaining S by two. Yes, sir. It goes with v two for half time and v three for half remaining time. So the time I thought is t two for this half. Out of t two, half the time is how much? T two by two. Yes, sir. Got it. That is covered got with v two. So the remaining t two by two is covered with v three. Is no? Huh? Yes, I am got it. Ah. So the distance equals the s by two is this into this plus this into this, right? My job yes, is to find out how much time t two for the second half. Second in half. In terms of v two and v three. So yes, that I got, got this it. one. This I got this one. So the time for the total AB will be S will be, which I which I consider as T one here and which is some T two. I mean, uh, this is T I wrote. No, this is T two. I should write, isn't it? No, the total time. This is. Huh? 
T1 plus T2. This is T1, this is T2. So what is the answer for this? Two V one plus two V uh, two V one V two plus two V one V three by two V one plus two V two plus all that. Yes, okay. Hello, have you all followed it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Now I have to go to the next question. Can I? Yes, sir. Now I'll put something very important here. Average speed in terms of instantaneous speed. See, V average is equal to what? Delta S Delta S by Delta T. This is average speed, sorry. So this is average speed. Don't forget it. Delta S by Delta T. Instantian speed is what? ds by dt okay so from here i can write ds equals v instantaneous dt integration if you do i'll get this as delta s s to the power 0 ds equals to the power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1. Integral ds is s to the power 0. s to the power 0 ds s1 to s2 is equal to 0 to t v instantaneous dt. Now, this will be what? S. So for 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 is S. S1 to S2 is equal to all this. 0 to T V instantaneous DT. So this S2 minus S1, which is delta S. And delta T means integral DT. So, V average will be the formula V instantaneous dt by integral dt. If somebody did not know integration, they have to wait because that was done previously. But anyway, I'll be giving formulas. Just you can use that to be comfortable after that we can see. In a similar way, In a similar way, V average equals V instantaneous dt. This is velocity, this is speed by integral dt. This is how you write average speed and average velocity in terms of instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity. And what is the use of it? I'll show you immediately after this. For this matter, this kind of an equation keeps coming again and again many times. Children. I want you to mention it. Huh? Yes, 
so don't panic if it is looking mathematical can you continue yes sir one minute now i'll show you immediately the application of this Dance. Okay. Now, I'll give you an example straight away. The instantaneous speed of a particle is given by V equals. Two t square. Huh? Find the average speed hmm? for the time interval between hmm? t one equals three seconds and t two equals. Six seconds. Okay, so just even if you little logical, I have no problem. What is this formula here? V average, average speed equals, which actually was delta s by delta t only, but that in in terms of this is so much. What V instantaneous dt from whatever times we'll see integral dt. Where did I get it from? Here, this one. All right. Hello. Yes, sir. Huh? Now, what is v instantaneous dt from the from the problem? Integral to t square dt by integral dt from where to where? Times three to six here. Three to six here. You know what will this become? Two will be taken out. Integral e square dt by integral dt. This is from three to six. Three to six. So what will be this? Two into t square dt will be how much? So here. Two t. T t square dt. Yes, sir. Hmm. So t to the power two plus one by, isn't it between three and six? Three six. This is integral dt is what? It is like t to the power zero dt, which is t to the power zero plus one by zero plus one t. So t between three and six, right? So this all this will be equal to what? Two into This is t cubed by three, right? Uh, between three and six. This is between three and six. So what will I get? Two into substitute six first. This is six cubed by three minus three. Three cubed by three minus six substitution first, and then t. So this is how much? Two by three into six cubed is how much? One. Thirty six into six. Two one six. Two one six minus three cubed. Twenty seven. Right? Huh? 
all right so that will be it So six minus three, t, everything is there. Do you follow the whole thing? Simplify and write it. Another t in the denominator, right? Huh? Six minus three. There's one more three, other. Right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. That this one more three is there. This three is there. So into three. So finally, what what do I get? Two by nine into how much is this? Two sixteen minus twenty seven. One eighty nine. One eighty. Nine. Nine. So this will be what? Two okay. into twenty. Two into twenty-one. Forty-two, sir. So that's what you mean by finding out average speed from instantaneous speed. This is a little mathematical, but remember, uh, some people, of course, were not there. But all this integration business was done in the beginning, huh? Uh, after some more time, I'll revise a little also, or I'll ask some other sir to revise. Don't get uh, panicky now. I'm just try to follow simple logic, and we'll see later. But this, as an idea, one should settle in your mind because this keeps coming again and again. What was the idea? You are given instantaneous speed, and you'll find out average speed. Instantaneous speed means in that expression v, there will be time. So from there, how to get average speed? The reasoning also I provided here, right? We still still are dis, uh, sticking to that basic definition, delta s by delta t. But delta s will be calculated from v instantaneous. Can I believe that you people follow? The old people should follow everything. The new ones, of course, barring that mathematics, they should say, okay, well, they are it's all right. I'll wait. Children, I went through the whole process in very great many details. So try to follow it. Otherwise, ask a question or two. So what is the idea here to find out? To find out, sorry, to find out average speed from instantaneous. Yes, sir. Average velocity from instantaneous velocity, I would like to show, but that is a little more uh, tricky. So I was just not having enough uh, I mean, confidence to come to that. But slowly, if you follow this, that also becomes easier. For you to feel comfortable, I'll give another question. Huh? You, you try it on your own. Okay. okay. Nothing. Here, I'll just change the things. In the place of this, in the place of this v equals 2t square, I'll give another easier one for you. v equals 3t plus 4. And these times I'll give here 2 seconds and here 4 seconds. So 
So just see how you get it. Hmm? I'll just wait for a while to see if you could finish the question. I have not done anything much, just change that V and these times. Hmm? Yes. If yes. you're logically oriented, you'll replace the present things with the relevant uh, new things, right? Huh? Yes. Let me see. So may I go to the next page? So what is given? Anybody in the site of finishing it? Vashist, Ganesh, Vishnu, Enoch. Enoch is there or not? No, Enoch had trouble with something. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't do it. He said he is on the record. Okay, Sai Ganesh, tell me how do I go about it? Huh? You just said what, uh, what are you, what are you yeah. We average is equal to. Uh, this is average speed. If I'm yes, not sir. putting this one and this one, you should remember it is speed only. Yes, right? Sir. Velocity and speed are different. So V average equals V instantaneous. If I don't write instantaneous also, think it is. V instant is V D T by integral of T T by integral right. equals to equals yes to. sir no. uh, like integral from two to four it will be three T plus four D T by what was the fun sir. function given there three T plus four huh yes sir. so three T plus four D T from 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Huh? Yes. Sir. Divided by integral dt from 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Now, this is, we can split integral 3t dt yes. plus integral 4 dt. 4 dt by integral dt. Shall I write straight away 4 minus 2 here? Huh? Why? Yes, integral dt is t. Yes, sir. Between 2, two, two and 4. 4. Yes, sir. So, four I can minus, reduce the calculation, yes, children. That's the reason I just wrote it like that. Yes, sir. Is equal to 3 t dt plus 4 dt. 4 dt. From 2 to 4. From 2 to 4, two to four by 2. Right? Yes, huh? sir. Now, 3 into t dt, t square by 2. Okay? Yes, by sir. t to the power 1 dt will be t to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus, yes, sir. Plus 4 integral dt is t. Yes, sir. Between 
So yes, what sir. do I get here? Four square, three by two into four square minus two square. How much? Sixteen minus four, twelve. Huh? Hello. Yes. Oh. So three into twelve by two. How much? Come on, children. Three by two into twelve. Huh? Eighteen. Eighteen plus four into two. How much? Eight, Eight. by two. By two. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hmm. This is one technique. Even if it logically you understand it also, still I'll be happy about that first to begin with. Hmm. So look, one idea after the other, we are going on giving it. You should not get uh, confused. So every time you need to revise, okay, I did average speed, I did instant in speed, I did this one, that one, all that you should be uh, consolidating in the mind. Finish it, I'll go to the next question. Done, sir. Done, sir. Right. Now. Look, a particle is moving in a straight line. According to this equals two T square plus 3t plus 5. Find the instantaneous speed. I bring, brought it back again. Instantaneous speed v equals ds by dt. So what do I get? D we should substitute s. No. Oh yeah. Okay. 2t square. So this will be into d of d square, d by, square dt. by 3 into dt by dt plus tell me 0 d of yes sir yes sir 5 by dt differentiation of 5 is 0 for what is the formula for this if y equals x power x, x. dy by dx equals so I'm deliberately giving it because I cannot remove these things from here. If you have to do some better questions later, all these tools have to be understood properly. So t square derivative is 2t. 2t is. This is 1. 1. That is 0. Yes. So how much is this? 4t plus? Plus 3. So from here, I can find the average velocity from v. Do you follow? Huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, I'll make it an easier question once again for you. So tell me whether I should continue. Yes, sir. Uh, look, 
a point is moving along the side of a square of side A. It starts from A, goes like this, A, B, C, D. Between A and D, find the magnitude of average velocity. The speed is V, constant speed V. Between A and D, it did not come back to A, okay? Or it might have come back, but we are asking only between A and D. Pretty simple. Hmm? Magnitude of V average will be Delta S by the mag displacement by time. That is mod delta R by time, actually speaking. So displacement is how much between A and D? A. Yeah. By time, I don't know. Delta. But, uh, delta T equals. Now look at this. It covers a distance of 3A with a speed V. So delta T will be distance covered by speed. What do we get? A by V A by V. We follow. Average velocity is V by three. V by three. And if it came back to A, average velocity will be zero. Isn't it? Huh? Yes, Hello? Sir. If it return to A again, V average mod equals zero because displacement is zero. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I'll give the definitions of the two remaining quantities so that we can only focus on the equations of motion and more problems tomorrow. Hmm? In the remaining time, I will try to complete the definitions of what? Average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration. Can I go ahead? One minute. Yes, right. Yeah, right. Now, look, average acceleration. V A average is equal to, tell me, delta V by delta T. Which is also written as V2 minus V1 by V2 minus V1. But let me show it graphically. Huh? Yes, sir. Or analytically, more correctly saying, algebraically, mathematically. Say a particle was moving in a particular uh, 
direction, whatever some zigzag way I can, I can take. Now, the velocity of the particle somewhere here will be V1. And somewhere here at time T2, it is V2, let me say. You know, instantaneous velocities are along the tangents. Do you agree? Yes, sir. These two are velocity at T2, velocity at T1. Right? What do I yes. want? Of course, V1 may be dr1 by dt. I don't require this actually. I don't want to confuse you by writing too many figures. This is this V1 is dr1 by dt. This is V2 is dr2 by dt. Did I talk about this or not? Yes, sir. Hmm. So I'm not showing it because I don't require R for the sake of acceleration here. Now, I want a delta V. V2 minus V1 I wanted. So what should I do? Huh? I can bring this V1 here and then reverse it. All right, do you follow? If I just bring the V1 here, I'll transport. I can just reverse it like that. This is minus V1. So a parallelogram is formed with V1 minus V1. So where is the resultant? Here. You follow? V2 minus V1. Yes, sir. Huh? So the yes, average sir. acceleration is like this. This V2, this V2 minus V1 by T2 minus T1. At time T1, this is at time T2. Why did I show this so in so many details? I'll tell you. This direction of average acceleration will be where? Tell me. Along delta v, basically. It need not be either along v2 or v1. Try to understand. Along delta v means you know what it is. Towards the inside of the curve of the plane curve. It's like this. The body was going in what way? Have you remember, seen that? It was going this way. So the acceleration is this way. Neither along V2 nor along V1. Do you follow? Towards the inside of the plane curve. This, are, this yes, is what sir. you mean by the concept. In a similar way, A instantaneous. Instantaneous acceleration. Will be simply the result uh, the limiting value of this, is that it? A instantaneous equals limit of delta V by delta T as delta T which is, which is written as dv bar by this is the instantaneous velocity definition and even yes, the sir. direction of that will be simply towards the inside of the curve because this becomes small that's all huh? so instantaneous acceleration direction is what towards the inside of the plane curve like if i say a particle was moving like that at this point, where is the direction of acceleration, children? Like that. Like that every time. Geometrically, you can talk about this motion. It is not this side or that side. But I'll come back to that slowly. Just take my words for a while to begin with. You can actually take them as rules and keep applying also for some time. And once again, I want to remind you that the direction of acceleration is not the direction of motion. What is the direction of motion actually? It is the direction of instantaneous velocity. So one note I would like to mention here specifically. People misunderstand and mix up things. But here, the statement in box I make is this. What is this? Direction of A instantaneous is not the direction of motion. This is not the direction of motion. 
okay direction of motion is what direction of motion is tell me direction of v instantaneous this is the most important point we are writing which i'll be showing illustrating with examples not just in words but i'll show you some tens of examples remember this kinematics some problems people keep doing but this this one the real meaning of average acceleration how is it directed real meaning of instantaneous velocity how is it directed and how acceleration direction is not the direction of motion why it should not be the direction of motion because it is change in velocity you know so its direction should be in the change in velocity direction not in either uh, v1 direction or v2 direction but motion when i said it is actually along the instantaneous velocity okay sir yes i have a doubt in the diagrams tell me like uh, why can't we reverse the v2 vector sir because by definition change in velocity is final minus initial velocity at later time minus velocity at the initial time not v1 minus v2 right yes sir. isn't it yes sir. change will be what change from now to tomorrow or change from now to yesterday so do you understand my point sir. yes sir so either i'll write v i mean velocity ahead minus velocity or velocity now which is ahead minus the previous velocity you cannot write initial minus final as a change any time dy by dx is y2 minus v1 dv by dt is v2 minus v1 do you understand yes sir got it right of course there are special cases where direction of acceleration direction of motion coincide but in general by principle by definition direction of acceleration is not the direction of motion people get into yes. confusion many times by mixing up acceleration and velocity yes. Yes. i'll give the physical meaning also i was going a little analytical mathematical deliberately but i'll also show you how to visualize velocity how to visualize acceleration all that i did not come at we have to it's a long way to go but i told you it's like a textbook you should write it neatly and keep reading it again and again any other questions please who is it no sir no question so okay it is enough already so much is given so the definition just definitions are over but in the middle i have given you few numericals to understand what is average speed average velocity we did not do much yet i'll be doing now after acceleration Hmm. Okay, children. For today, I'll close. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, everybody.